with the truck resting on the ground, I'm gonna break these 21 millimeter lug nuts free with a breaker bar. Just loosen them all up before you raise the vehicle. Now we can remove these lug nuts the rest of the way. Now you can remove the wheel. Before I take this caliper off, I'm going to take a large screwdriver and just very gently pry this over just to take a little stress off of those pads so the caliper comes off easier. That's a little looser. That's good enough. Now those two bolts holding the caliper on, they're seven millimeter Allen. So we'll remove those. Okay, those are loose now. So you can just leave them in there. Take the bottom one out. Now you can pry this caliper off. Should come off pretty easy now. Those brake pads are gonna stay in there for now. And you can take your brake pads out make it easier to work on this pad. I'm just gonna use a caliper hanger and hang it like this. You can hang it anywhere you want as long as you don't put pressure on the brake hose. Now we can take this brake pad off. Might be a little rusted in there. I need to pry it off. Now we're going to try and take this rotor off. It's more than likely going to be stuck. So you can take a hammer and hit in between the studs. Make sure you don't hit the studs. You'll damage them. Uh, and we're going to try and loosen this rust up. There we go. I'm going to take a wire brush and try and get a lot of this rust off of the hub. And I'm actually not gonna go too, too crazy because we're actually going to just replace the hub while we're doing this. I'm gonna take the new rotor and I'm actually just gonna put it on backwards. I'm just gonna spray this down with some brake parts cleaner. Wipe it down. And I'm gonna flip it. And do the same thing with this side. Wipe it down. And before I install this permanently, I just want to take some copper anti seize and put some on the hub here to avoid uh, the sticking together in the future. I'm gonna use an old nut as a spacer and reinstall a lug nut. That'll just make it easier when we go to reinstall the caliper. I'm gonna use an old brake pad and I'm gonna set it on top of the piston and I'm gonna use a caliper piston compression tool. It's gonna to go in here like this and I'm basically just gonna tighten this down so that the piston goes back into the caliper which will give us enough room when we put the new pads on to put this back onto the rotor. Now I can remove that tool once the piston is completely compressed and I can reinstall my pads. This pad has a bracket right here that will clip right into the piston. I'm gonna take a wire brush and just clean where the bracket goes on this brake pad on the caliper, so I just want to clean up whatever rust I can, just make it easier to put this brake pad back on. Now I can reinstall this brake pad, put the clip over the caliper like this, make sure it's fully seated. Now I want to use that wire brush to clean up where the brake pads are going to ride 
right here. Just get some of that rust off. Now, before we install the caliper, I want to put some grease right here where the brake pad ears are going to land just to make it so they can move around easier. And I'm also going to grease the ears just a little bit to help with that. And I'm going to reinstall this caliper. Might be a little tight because these brake pads are brand new. You just got to work it on there. Now I'm going to take a wire brush and clean up the caliper pins as much as I can, get some of that rust off, use some brake parts cleaner, and wipe them down. And then I can just put a little bit of brake caliper grease on those and do the same thing with the other one and reinstall them. Now you can tighten up those caliper pins. Don't crank them down because they do have a torque spec. Just get them tight. The torque spec for these bolts are 18 to 26 foot pounds. So I'm gonna go right in between and do 22 foot pounds. My torque wrench. Do the same with the bottom one. Now you can take this lug nut off with your spacer if you used it. Reinstall the wheel. Get your lug nut started. Now we're going to torque these lug nuts to between 85 and 115 foot pounds. It's what the manufacturer recommends. I am going to torque them to 115 in a star pattern. This will help to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just double check. Now, before test driving the truck, we're just gonna press the brake pedal down a couple times, and that's gonna push that piston out and get those brake pads nice and tight to the rotor. And you just wanna check your brake fluid reservoir and make sure it's topped off. There's a full mark and an add mark. You wanna be in between there. And in fact, we're gonna have to take some brake fluid out of here. But make sure it's topped off, close the cap, you'd be good to go.